Hey guys, my name is Aircode, and today I will be showing you how to create a toggle between first and third person in Roblox Studio. Uh, first of all, before we do that, I would like to say I'm sorry for not uploading for a while. Like, I think it's been more than a week, but my last video did really, really well, according to me. Uh, but thanks for all the support. We're nearly at 50 subscribers, which is insane for me. I don't think we would reach it this quickly. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, if you'd like me to do anything for 50 subscribers, uh, please comment down below what you want me to do. Um, but yeah, let's get into the tutorial. So, uh, once you're in your game, you want to go into starter player and in the starter character scripts you'll see that i have a whole bunch of scripts but all we really want to focus on is cam switch i will leave the model down below in the description so here i have two scripts or well, three scripts cam cam third person and cam switch cam and cam third person is literally the same except for some values that i've changed around and this is just a boolean value so cam switch is just checks if uh, cam fps or this is set to true which it is and v is pressed if it is set to true then it sets this to false and disables this and enables this and vice versa if this is false so in cam this is, looks quite complicated because i'm not gonna lie it kind of is but we have this update character Basically what this does is that it sets the transparent local transparency modifier to 1 or 0 So I'll show you in the game. So in first person it looks like this You can see your arms and legs, but you can't see your head or hair Yep, that is literally what local transparency modifier does. Um, you don't really need it uh, If you don't want to see it, then you don't need this part but this just uh, cursor movement so as you can see in first person there's like a little dot in the center of my screen it's better if i show on the red there's a little dot at the center of my screen and if i press alt it becomes my cursor so i can move it around but i can move it around so it's really useful for like npc dialogues like that but other than that uh that is practically what this does next is the most important part this basically sets the camera position to the player's head this sets the auto rotate true and basically this is the offset so this is what changes in third person and first person so you can see the offset is 215 but here it is 0 0 0.8 and 0 um, I will leave both of these scripts in the description as well as the model. If you want to change the field, the field of view, it's here. If you want to change the sensitivity, it's here. And if you want the person to see the body, then just set this to false. And if you want the toggle mouse, then set this one uh, to true or false. And this is the mouse icon. So I can go to uh, toolbox, go to uh, decals go to like let's say cursor and i can take like let's say this one take this part and replace it here and then once i change it here you'll see that it's not here in first person but if i press v it's here in third person so i can move it around <laughs> looks quite silly but yep it's that and you can see that in third person we can see the whole body and it it acts like a first person module but just in third person so i can move it around here and if you want to know how to get like their head movement like up and down you can see it's slightly there i use um realism mod it's really useful i like it a lot it has dynamic lighting hiding player names first person ragdoll it's really good. I would recommend having it. Uh, the, this one, blood, can get your some can sometimes get your game removed. But other than that, uh, that's it for me. Uh, once again, thank you for 50 or nearly 50 subs. Thanks for watching.